Renewable and Non-Renewable Energy Resources. In this video, we'll talk about what is meant by non-renewable resources and answer the question, how quickly are we using fossil fuels? And what are alternative energy resources and their relative abundance? You probably often hear that fossil fuels are a non-renewable energy resource. What does it mean for an energy resource to be renewable or non-renewable? To answer this, we must first consider the idea of a resource. A resource is an accumulated stock from a source. The stock accumulates through flows to the stock. It depletes through flows from the stock. It's a lot like a bathtub. Opening the faucet to fill the bathtub is the flow to the bathtub. The water in the bathtub itself is the stock of water, and then the drain is depleting the bathtub. It probably makes sense to you is if you fill the bathtub faster than you drain, the water is going to overflow. Or if you drain the water faster than you fill it up, you're going to deplete the water in the bathtub. In the same way, an energy resource or stock is considered non-renewable when the rate at which it is being consumed exceeds the rate at which it is being replenished. Let's consider the picture of fossil fuels, specifically oil. Fossil fuels ultimately represent the captured energy stored from the sun in the form of plants and concentrated over millions of years under pressure and heat. These fuels have stored the energy in the chemical bonds of the hydrocarbons. An effective generation rate for fossil fuels is on the order of about 450 barrels per year, although we know this number is an average, that we're not really generating fossil fuels. So what is the consumption rate? In 2009, the consumption rate was about 59 billion barrels, which the United States, representing 5% of the global population, or a little bit less, consumed 33% of this global oil production. It is obvious that the consumption rate exceeds the average generation rate. How long do we expect the proven oil reserves to last at this consumption rate? Well, we expect it to last about 48 years, so that if we were to use oil at the present rate, the known proven oil reserves would be depleted by 2037. It's difficult to know what poses a greater danger, the direct creation of unprecedented high levels of greenhouse carbon dioxide gas from using the oil, or the global societal instability linked to the scarcity of this energy resource on which developed countries depend. What are the alternatives? Let's now consider renewable energy resources. Again, a renewable resource would be one that would be regenerated at a rate that exceeds the use rate. Recall that different energy resources have different replenishment time scales. As can be seen in this graphic, fossil fuels have a time replenishment scale of millennia, if at all. What are our alternatives? There are a number of alternatives shown here that can be replenished on the order of milliseconds to years. These include biomass, precipitation, geothermal energy, tidal energy, wind and wave energy, and radiation exchange, which is essentially incoming solar energy, which is replenished on the order of milliseconds. In order to answer this question, we have to look more closely at the flows. You remember that a renewable resource is one where the flow rate into the stock is greater than the depletion rate out of the stock. So based on some data from the Global Climate and Energy Project at Stanford University from 2005 and 2007, the global use rate is about 18 times 10 to the 12 joules per second, or 18 terawatts. What about the regeneration rate from these different renewable resources? Well, tidal energy provides about 3.5 terawatts. Hydroelectric is about 7.2 terawatts. Geothermal, 32 terawatts. Waves, 60 terawatts. Wind energy, 870 terawatts. And incoming solar radiation, 86,000 terawatts. Well, these arrows aren't exactly to scale, but you can see that the regeneration rate greatly exceeds the use rate for these different types of energy resources. 
A resource is renewable when the rate of regenerating that resource exceeds the rate at which it is being consumed. Fossil fuels are presently being consumed at a rate that will likely deplete the known reserves by 2037. There are several alternative energy resources to fossil fuels. Their regeneration rate is over 4,000 times the current global depletion rate by human activity.